All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work through these energy conversion problems. You've got four of them right here, and I'll work through them with you. What you need to remember and what I'm going to really quickly just go over with you is just a little bit of information about um, the relationships. So the first relationship that we're given is the relationship between calories and joules. And so we know that one calorie equals 4.184 joules. Now, this is a relationship that is exact. Okay, so the number of significant figures is considered to be indefinite, and therefore we're not going to consider it. Okay, so one calorie equals 4.184 joules. The other relationships we know, um, we're getting back into prefixes. So when we're talking about kilojoules, one kilojoule, if you look on page 24 of your workbook, you'll see that kilo is your prefix, joule is your base unit, and so in one kilojoule there are 10 to the third joules. Okay. The other relationship we can do the exact same thing but this time with calories, so one kilocalorie, kilo being your prefix, calorie being your base unit, equals 10 to the third calories. And then the last relationship here, notice this is little calories. Okay. The other relationship, when we're talking about calories that we eat, we're actually talking about a capital calorie. One big calorie equals 10 to the third little calories, or one kilocalorie. So when we're saying a capital calorie, we are actually um, saying it's one kilocalorie. So one big calorie is the same thing as saying kilocalories. Okay. All right, so let's go and start the first problem. You're given in this is 56.3 joules. And so I'm going to first write that out, 56.3. And what I'm going to want to do, I want to get into calories. And so I'm going to make sure that my units cancel, so this cross. my joules go on bottom so that they will cancel and I'm getting into calories. So notice, because I know the relationship between joules and calories, this is just going to be a one step problem. So one calorie equals 4.184 joules and so you'll grab your calculator Remember, the relationship between uh, joules and calories is exact, so we are not considering significant figures for this. Okay, so 56.3 divided by, because the 4.184 is in the denominator, divided by 4.184, and I get 13.456. And my units are calories. Okay, now I just have to deal with rounding. Now, since I'm multiplying, I'm dealing with sig figs. 56.3 has three sig figs. So this four is what I'm gonna have to round because I wanna keep the one, the three, and that four. So the four rounds up and it becomes 13.5. My units are calories. All right, for the next problem, if you notice, what I give you is kilojoules. And so I know the relationship between joules and calories, but I don't know the relationship between kilojoules and calories. It's not given to you, but we can determine it, but it's going to just be a two-step problem. So my given in this case is 12.2 kilojoules. I'm going to get rid of kilojoules, and I'm going to first get into joules, because from joules I can then get into calories. So I'm not going to put any relationships yet. I'm going to do one more step. I'm going to put joules on bottom now so that the joules will cancel. And now I go into calories. All right now and only now am I going to put my relationships in. So there are 10 to the third joules in a kilojoule. So I put 10 to the third on top. And I put one on bottom. For calories and joules, one calorie equals 4.184 joules. So what I'm going to do for my calculation is I'm going to take 12.2, I'm going to multiply it by 10 to the third because 
the 10 to the third is in the numerator, and then I'm going to divide by 4.184. And what you get is the following. You get 2,915 point eight seven, let's say. I'm going to round a little bit. Okay, My units are calories, so that's not bad. Now, notice I need to figure out sig figs. So, 12.2, remember this is exact, this is exact, so I'm going to ignore them. 12.2 has three sig figs, so I'm going to want to stop at that one. So the five will round the one up, so I end up with 292. Now, a lot of people at this point will just stop, and they will write 292 point, or just 292 calories. Please do not do that, because what you're saying is 2,000 is equal to about 200 that it can round to that, and that doesn't make any sense. You need to make sure to put a zero at the end to hold the place for that five that we got rid of by rounding, and now that's going to be calories. All right. Now, for the next one, your given is 3.2 calories. Now, notice that the calories are capitalized. Okay. And so, yes, this does matter because in order to get into joules, I need to first be in little calories. And so, this is going to be a two-step problem. I'm going to first get rid of calories by putting them on bottom. I'm going to put little calories up top. Okay. Now, I'm in little calories. I can now get into joules by getting rid of little calories on bottom and putting joules up top. And so now all we have to do is just put in our relationship. So um, there are 10 to the third little calories and one big calorie. For this relationship, one calorie equals 4.184 joules. So now what I'm going to do, you do 3.2 times 10 to the third which is going to be 3,200, and I keep going, times 4.184, and I get 13,388.8. So 13,388.8. My units are joules. Now I need to figure out my rounding. This has two significant figures. Remember, these are exact, so I don't consider them for sig figs which means I just want the 1 and the 3, and I'm going to round after that point. So since the number after the 3 is also a 3, which is less than 5, it rounds down to a 3. And remember, I'm going to put a comma. I've got to put my three zeros behind it to hold the place. So I'm not rounding 13,000 now to 13, because that doesn't make any sense. And then my units are joules. All right. For my last problem, I give you little calories and I ask you to convert to joules. So the reason why I provided this, it might seem pretty simple, and you're like, why Why did she provide this? I want to make sure that you guys recognize when it needs to be a one-step problem and when it's going to be a two- or three-step problem. So here, since I know the relationship between little calories and joules, it's just going to be a one-step problem. So I've got 12.3. My units are calories. I'm going to get rid of calories by putting it on bottom. I'm going to get into joules by putting it up top. So now all I need to do is I need to put in that relationship. So there are 4.184 joules and one calorie. So 12.3 times 4.184. Oops, 12.3 times 4.184. And I get 51.46 approximately. Okay, so 51.46. My units are joules. However, since this has three sig figs, this needs to be three sig figs, so it's going to round to 51. Point, well, this four is going to be rounded up because the six is five or larger, so it's going to be 51.5, and your units are joules. So those are all of your answers, guys. The main thing is deciding, okay, do I know the relationship? Like, for example, here I do. If you do know the direct relationship, then it's just going to be one step. If, for example, here you don't know the relationship between kilojoules and calories, it's going to be two steps, but you can totally do that. All right? And that's it.